Now it's time for What's Hot. We talk about stories that have all of us talking. We're joined today by Barb Bartline with the People Pro, and Jeff Wagner is back. So Paula Dean has scored a legal victory. A federal judge threw out a racial discrimination lawsuit. A former employee filed that suit. Dean has been in the spotlight for using a racial slur more than 20 years ago. Several companies and endorsement deals dropped Dean. Should she file a suit against the person who sued her for basically damaging her life? Well, no. <laughs> I mean, here, here, here's the, first of all, the, the case hasn't been dismissed in its entirety. And, and secondly, what damaged Paula Dean's career, what's perhaps destroyed her career, was, was the underlying allegations. The, the judge here didn't say those allegations were false. This case was dismissed because the judge made a legal ruling that the person who filed the lawsuit was white and she couldn't bring these claims because she was, in fact, white, not that the allegations were untrue. So the, that lawsuit needs to come from those who were affected, African-American employees in right, their businesses. Right. If they believed that they were being discriminated against or harassed or whatever, they would have, for want of a better term, standing to sue. This was more of a legal victory for her because at least large parts of the case gets dismissed, but it's not like the underlying claims were necessarily found to be untrue. And that's what's killed her in the court of public opinion. And, and let's face it, she did it. She did it. Yes, it was 20 years ago, and we can argue she hasn't been treated fairly in all these kinds of issues. Now, I do disagree with you, Jeff. I don't think her career is ruined. Uh, America loves a comeback story. Uh, the best thing she can do is, is sort of let this go uh, um, by the wayside and become the uh, bird line, bird cage liner for tomorrow and move on. Yeah, see, I, I mean, I, I, I understand America is big with second chances. I mean, Anthony Weiner is running for mayor of New York. <laughs> Elliot Spitzer, you know, is running to be controller. I, I get it. There are some things, though, I think it's really difficult to come back from, and this might be one of them. I, I guess time's going to tell. I, I just, I, do you really see Paula Dean back on Food Network or doing stuff? I I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I think people will say, hey, that was 20 years ago. It was a different world then. And you know what? I, I think she's paid the piper. Isn't there another famous cook on TV right now that spent some time in jail? Oh, that's true. Cook. You're talking about Martha Stewart? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to think. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Martha Stewart is that, that, but again, I mean, Martha Stewart. See, there, there's some things... Oh, there's I a big think, difference in terms right. of what she did, yeah, but she got the second from. chance. And, and I mean, I agree with Barb when, you know, she's talking about, you know, is, is Paula Dean being treated unfairly? Is this too harsh? I mean, I think you can have an interesting discussion there. I just think there's some things in this country you come back from and some that are tougher. Yeah, this I, will be tough. Yeah. yeah. We'll we see. will wait and see. One of you gets to say, I told you so. <laughs> Hope it's me. <laughs> All right, coming up, you can... Of what's hot. Again, we're joined by Barb Bartline and Jeff Wagner of News Radio 620 WTMJ. Well... Good babysitter is hard to find. Now more and more people are willing to pay for a qualified sitter, a person they know will make sure their kids are in good hands. A new report shows that babysitters are now getting paid about $12 an hour. Should babysitters get paid more for looking after your child? I hope our babysitter's not watching this because <laughs> it's not $12 an hour. It's not 12 She's up. great. No, it's lower than that, and she is wonderful. <laughs> I, I don't know, Courtney. I think they deserve every every dollar they get. It's hard work. It, oh, it's very hard work. And and quite frankly, you know, their kids are a lot of work. They're a lot of trouble, and they whine, and they have nasty <laughs> habits. And I I think they deserve more than that. Well, let's describe define the babysitter here. I mean, a babysitter for a two year old, a babysitter for the eight or nine year old, because you know you just want someone to play with them. I mean, I could see if they're infants, there's obviously more work involved. Well, they're, they're still eating paint and doing stuff. I mean, come on. Uh, you At know, eight, I hope not. Don't tell me that. <laughs> well, and, the, and the real issue is you're giving the responsibility of your children to somebody else, and they're taking responsibility. Um, I remember years ago, we were paid like five bucks an hour. Well, this is 40 years later. I think they deserve that amount of money. I just think it's all supply and demand. And yep. I, I suspect that there's a lot of parents by the end of long weeks who are willing to pay pretty much anything just so they can get out, have that nice, relaxing dinner. Um, you know, it's interesting. Twelve bucks an hour, though, they're, they're, there's nurses probably that make less than that. I mean, think of all the jobs that make less than that. Um, it just kind of is what it is. Maybe we need to go into babysitting more. M maybe it's a good business to start. Let's go to our final What's Hot. Imagine if you could go from L.A. to San Francisco just 30 minutes. A technology mogul looking at ways to reinvent mass transportation. That's the Hyperloop. You could travel up to 700 miles per hour inside these tubes. 
Would you take a ride in the Hyperloop? Sign me up. Sign me up. Put me at the top of the list. Really? I'm ready to go. Uh, my only concern with a Hyperloop is they say it could go up to 700 miles an hour. Right. Why not 1,000 or 2,000? Well, where are the brakes is my question. Ah, we don't need brakes, Courtney. <laughs> We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for this <laughs> for years. I, I, mean, you know. I want the hovercraft. Maybe I want you should go to the pack. moon first before you do well, this. That's, I don't know. I have no interest in going to the moon. I want to fly. I, that's everybody's fantasy. Okay, well, now I see. I, I just see in our family... <laughs> I did not get the roller coaster gene. We, we go down Me to either. Orlando Studios and they've got that incredible Hulk roller coaster that it's zero to 60 in three seconds and you're yeah. upside down. And I look at it and think, who in their right mind would get on this that my brother gets on it? So, Barb, I mean, do you yeah. go on roller coasters? Uh, oh, absolutely. Okay. Now, now you've met who goes it. on them. I mean, come on, don't you feel a little bit, Jeff, like we've been given a bill of goods? I mean, when I was a kid, we watched the Jetsons. They had flying cars. They had conveyor belts in their house. I don't have any of that. Uh -huh. I want the hyper. Barb, loop. I encourage you to go look at some video that Vinny Vitrano did when he was flying <laughs> with, like, I think the Blue Angels or one and of those groups. Oh, geez, it is. And I'm telling you, that guy is up for a lot of thrills, but he looked panicked. See, Barb, I never knew you were such speed. a sport. I just that we learn something new on what's hot every day, you know. So I, I'm staying off the incredible Hulk roller coaster, and I'm sure it's heck staying I off the Hyperloop. I say let Hyper Barb test it first, yeah. and I'll if test it's it good for, for her, yeah. then Jesse's going to go too, and then maybe I'll get on. My stomach will not handle it. And we'll it. watch you, and we'll wave. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Charles and I will be on the Greyhound heading yeah. west. Have you can have see the in eight hours. Yeah. You can have the Greyhound, Jeff. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. We're going to take a quick break. And